what is going on guys it is your boy Sessa here bringing us another episode of brief wars we're basically giving you guys a nice cool brief this time we had valorant end of the world tournament poster key art idea honestly you guys literally literally killed this you ha we had so many phenomenal and amazing entries sit back grab some popcorn do something i don't know, eat who knows and uh, enjoy that's all i got Alright guys, so let's start off with an absolute bang. We had Aspect Graphics, the only person to actually do a trailer. So let's just give it a watch really quick. The, <laughs> the July 22 thing. I apologize. I had July 27th. I changed it to July 22nd. And that's why this is that. But this made it even better for me. But if we keep going, you can see that we have this really beautiful frame with like rays floating up and everything's destroying around her. If I just took a still right on that frame, brilliant. Literally brilliant. And then, of course, the whole campaign is being Dare to Die, which is a very freaking dope concept. Aspect graphics, you absolutely killed it. And is gonna absolutely be in the running for our favorites. So let's just see what we got else going on here. That was in English. Whatever. So we had over 93 entries. So let's just start off with some of these solo shots. That is a lot of entries. Kind of ridiculous, but let's just see. So we had Carl Creatives with our sort of like KO holding the world. The end is here. Like his mask saying the end is here is really creative and really fun. I think even having the scene kind of tilting that little left degree angle is really just creative and fun. I think it's a very, very strong concept for me. If I were to ever fix or kind of like mess around with anything, it would be the red tone. It doesn't feel as harsh as I feel like the end of the world would feel. It feels too Valorant red, so that's my only critique there. So up next is Borma with his, the, this is also the tone of red that I was kind of referring to, by the way. But you have this omen in the background, basically kind of almost feeling like he's the villain in all of this. And then we have the end of the world logo, this really cool, like almost like a gothic kind of characteristic to it, but also the overall kind of like surrounding elements. Of, it just feels like it flows very well with the world of Valorant. Very, very solid. Now we actually had Kuzer here with a really similar concept we had saw before, but the sort of like same layout, I guess it's like a photo that's just kind of like out there in Valorant. But like, I think what kind of messed with me a little bit was the idea of why Neon just there like grasping. What is she grasping? If, she, if you had like the sun or like the earth being grabbed, it would have made it feel like a lot more just like purposeful, but she doesn't feel as purposeful. But however, if you got rid of Neon, it would almost feel pretty cool if like this, this building was destroying in the background, but overall very solid too. Then we had Asper design with this really cool, like raw material, grungy render meets like nature, like just it, this is brilliant to me. This is definitely gonna be in the running for me when it comes to like the overall, most likely gonna be in the top six. We'll see what happens, but like this is so beautifully made. The overall like composition idea, the environment just feels so destroyed and just so much going on and it just feels perfect in every single way. I can see this whole time, this whole material being played throughout the entire campaign. This is a very, very solid one. So this was actually the first brief force submission, I think for this, so Frank, your W for that, but I think the overall color scheme and the environment feels very, very, I, I guess in a sense, I like the color scheme guys I kind of chose for this, it's like a yellowish, orange, purple. My only concern was that there was so much typography where I felt like you were repeating typography and you couldn't tell which one you wanted to use. I mean, it feels good. Like, there's nothing really to say and complain about it. So a very solid entry. Daffy with his end of the world, sort of like very much so big, just kind of like in your face text. It felt very appropriate. I wish there was a little bit more toward the actual overall theme of how you actually take this graphic and make it like a, a campaign. But overall, da uh, Daffy, this is pretty freaking sick. Then we had Weasel with the, again, with the Omen being the villain in this kind of scenario here, kind of like, how do you say, engulfing in his smoke with like this Vatican City capital building. It just, it just feels so appropriate to what you would think. The world typeface being so like grungy and like uh, eerie and almost kind of like Omen-esque 
Feels like you can play this theme along the entire way. Very, very, very solid weasel. Then we actually had Coco, who gave us a little bit of a mock-up on a building with like the, the dying or shredding of the actual poster, which feels pretty freaking cool in my opinion. I think Yoro being like this little placement key, maybe he's like the hero in the story. Feels really cool and really appropriate. One of the more abstract color schemes, which is this one by Tatium, it just felt so cool. Look at the omen face being repeated over and over and over again. It feels like a very easy element to kind of place around. And the orange and red, not my first choice of colors, but also works very freaking well here. So I'm going to say, this is just dope. Aver spam, tech, and Zyma to wrap up our kind of like focal points, and they all just feel super, super freaking dope. Zyma with the fire and flames just felt kind of appropriate. Tech almost making it feel like the Viper smoke or like the Viper chamber is like what's maybe destroying the world? I don't know. And then Aver spam with this idea of like kind of like crossing out the eyes of the blur just felt like it was just sort of like an idea of like erasing the actual presence behind the eyes. I don't know if that was your intention, but if it was, W. If not, you just take it and leave it. We got our stacked kind of like compositions here next by Goblin is our first one. This kind of like framing just felt so like, uh, almost like holy or just grand with the overall like arching in the bottom, like that bottom portion just felt like it was just so inviting to the environment. Like they have the, the white eyes and Phoenix being like, like, I don't know, praised up. I don't freaking know. It felt pretty freaking solid and so much so Valorant, almost like they're going back to the beginning where like they're using their blue and orange again, like their brand colors. Uh, I mean, very brilliant. Also, the end of the world being this gothic type felt right. Then we had our only blue concept by Lithium or LTHM, and it, I don't know if I would have went with blue, but it also doesn't feel anywhere near as bad, like as bad as I would have thought blue would have looked in this scenario, but for me, it just feels like very fun and kind of the way you stacked it for like this like triangle composition felt right and it just, just stood out to me and I really liked it. Then we had some more stacking concept. This one here was by Buddy and look at the overall like idea of like the, the flames on the right side of Neon with like, it's almost like she's like, I don't know, disintegrating like just stand out, just went and everything's just gone, right? It felt so right. And overall, I think the I think the only thing I would critique is the overall quality of the bottom sort of like building. It felt like it's a little almost like a distraction where I feel like if there was anything else, it would have made so much more sense. But even the end of the world, the crack in the text just felt right. Mercedes giving us almost like a different perspective of that one we just saw. But overall, again, I love this one a little bit more when it comes down to the actual building quality. It just felt so right on that offset white on the overall end of the world for like not using pure white felt so right to me and uh, just a very solid entry. We had Rob another solid entry making all like the sort of like colors of the actual players themselves, making them all black and red. It just felt just really appropriate. Howell also gave us a second concert here. It just felt, this one just felt so like crazy as well. I had to put it in for the second objective, but very solid. And again, you can kind of see how you can make that kind of like uh, idea with his overall graphics and make it toward a campaign. Very, very solid. Nano Pixel, I think that that KO shot in the background just made this so much like more appropriate to me. I almost feel like KO is looking for a, a reason to save something that like that outside look just felt so right. So very good choice of, uh, how do you say, character choices here for your pictures. Going to look at over here where it says two is is or uh, what is your name? It's two and is. Who knows? It has to be toys, right? It almost gives us an, a, an overall perspective that these guys almost like feels like Jet's a villain with like the Reyna and the Omen. I feel like Jet might be a little bit of an anomaly there. I feel like if you use like a... Someone, another evil character in the world of Valorant might have made that feel like they're looking over the city itself. But what really makes it very solid is that like, kind of like if you look from the top all the way to the middle, it just flows so well down with like the overall like windows being like this little very ominous red in the background. Like you have this really cool city in the fore foreground and just felt just dude, very freaking dope. And I love the way you kind of laid out your text, uh, your text, your typography, I meant to say. But uh, dude, very solid and legit. This one just felt like, I don't even know. It just, what did, I don't even know where you got inspired from, but like the jet picture and the, 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 I don't, it just felt right. The way you color corrected and made it so appropriate to the actual uh, brief. Very, 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 very solid. K226 was just like a very solid, just really approach, like really pretty approach. Again, I don't, I don't really see that much end of the world, but honestly, really solid. Now, taking a look at some of these group shots, we start off with Metro for a second. We have this really cool, like, I don't know, three tanks just coming in, just felt like someone's about to destroy something. Phoenix looks so evil with that face. Kind of creepy. I think the overall idea of like you using the actual bridge as like a way to kind of house them, very, very well done. And also the place of the text, they're just, Perfect choice of, I would've done the same exact thing after hours of moving it. So honestly, pretty freaking solid. Pyro, we had one of our first like 16 by nine visions of here. And you can kind of see like this idea of like the world is literally being destroyed. These guys are just looking up and seeing it happen. One thing I would actually want to say is I wish and, and just kind of like, would love to see what it would look like if you kind of took down the grain a little bit. But I also know a lot of these are probably renders. So I honestly appreciate the time you took on this. And uh, I think the end of the world, the, using the, the world globe as like the Owen world, 
it felt right. That's probably what I would have done too. Keenan went more of this like grungy, almost like emo night idea here, which kind of feels pretty appropriate to the end of the world. It almost feels like a party invitation. Uh, but I also love the idea of like the 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 sort of like splashes, the the paper tears, the overall again with that distortion, very small distortion on Vatican City. Just felt right. Very solid entry. One that spoke very clean to me was actually this one by Hickens. You can kind of like very much see like I don't know if you guys can tell, but look on the eye of like Jet, like the the facial of like Phoenix. The eyes are just brilliant in this by the way and the uh the overall distortion that little small distortion just feels so right and if you look at the background it almost feels like a, like a, an umbrella logo from resident evil but it kind of shows a bit of like a story being played behind it i think this person's a like a very brilliant storyteller i love this poster here and it has to be one of my favorites in the group shot so very very solid hickens we had dats in here with like a kind of like a pinkish orange i could we probably couldn't choose a color i understand that for me i think the orange one fits a little bit more toward the theme of like end of the world i feel like pinkish is like i don't know it feels a little weird anyway but i think the overall idea of like you kind of putting like the dates i love the typography using that as texture and like the overall background just felt like epic and grand and almost like a very like simplistic look into what it could be very very solid my guy mirage took all the characters and just put them on there i can appreciate it one thing i would say mirage is i would love for you to try to like choose a different idea of like how you want to showcase the world and the world we got a little bit of fire behind viper but i would love to see what you would do if you were to be like what would the environment what would the background what would the like overall idea of vatican city look like if it was the end of the world next we had achmed here with like a really cool like end of the world just kind of like white color scheme which is something a little bit different than what we've seen earlier i love the idea of like the typography choice i think we could have made like the world on fire or you see like random something happening i think that's the only thing that's missing is the actual overall theme but a very solid poster nonetheless xvi with this very awkwardly like just cool distortion it felt so out of this world this is what like the fogginess of my brain would feel like if i knew the end of the world was coming so that's the vibes that i got from this is this so sick in my opinion i think i the only kind of critique i have is i wish at the end of the world and like the day and all that kind of stuff kind of felt a little bit more legible um otherwise really solid last in the category is safe and villainous again safe with the more grungy kind of idea and uh building this over here with like the more kind of like composition idea of like using a, a, a building as well one thing i would say villainous by the way is when i look at your concept i kind of ignore the middle people i feel like that if they were in color or they all had a cohesive darkness to them it might have like let, like kind of read more visually appealing to me but overall very very solid entries so now we have our duo ideas we're kind of like showing casing like two ish people in the focus points so we had ben sparrow here with like his idea with like end of the world almost feels like a face off like it just feels like just different this is one of the more different ones that i've seen i like the end of the world i can actually kind of tell over here by the way as well if you look on the actual building a little shadow here work you can, t you can see the attention to detail also the logo down here like the meteor kind of crashing in probably the best logo we've seen all so far in the in the brief wars it just felt like it was so appropriate for it to be a meteor crashing in and putting in that little square to make it so that's kind of like relevant to valorant felt so right good job ben then we had R here with this really cool composition, kind of like using like that pole, like that kind of structure statue and like lining up with KO kind of fist, like just like, I'm gonna protect you kind of idea. Um, it just felt very nice, very solid entry. Duelish, I felt like you had more of like an idea of like just a very, just very clean concept and approach. However, I don't feel like I see enough of that end of the world going on here, but I can at least enjoy the fact that you use that red tone. And I love your typography, I, like how you kind of place everything as well. So honestly, really solid. Also for the record, that like reddish blackish tone and like on that like grayish red, that's a very, very sexy, sophisticated color scheme. Wanted to point that out. Essence just kind of gave us a Phoenix and a Jet kind of being together in a way. Maybe like they're the last people on Earth. Who knows? I don't really know, but very solid entry as well. Jaden creates, giving us a really cool one last run campaign, which kind of felt pretty just kind of like fun and also kind of creepy in a way as well. One thing I would note though, is I would say the reddish and the orange tone are not my favorite. I wish you kind of picked and choose which one and almost kind of gave it a little bit more of like a, uh, of a way to kind of combine those colors together. Jeremy giving us a really cool silhouette kind of like i don't even know I, I love the silhouette in the foreground with like the vatican city again building in there and then jet and kind of like viper kind of like duo tag it just felt I, I love the meters in the background too so very 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 solid entry jeremy then we had swayze with like this cool little valor render with rays and viper and like overall background itself is kind of destroyed in the, in the city i think if you use more of a boldish font like a like even like a drukes or like a drama uh one of those fonts that has like a really nice bold stance and he even just left it as is it would have felt a little bit more like grounded but it being a little bit of this like frailish lighter weight made a little bit awkward for the text but very very solid poster leaving us 
flashy with ZZ with this raise eyes and fade eye idea. It just felt just pretty cool. Like they're getting taken over, maybe. Very, very solid entry. And I love how bold the end of the world font is. It's like in your face, but also not so much like distracting in a way, right? Then for our last sort of like category designs, we had Connor here with this like idea of like this environment. It's like Sova's like over the ocean. Homie just lost his girl types. I don't even know. The vibes are just really off for this guy. But I think the overall kind of like rain just made it feel a little more saddish or, or more moody in that sense. They kind of had the meteors coming down as well. I think this is a very, very solid poster. Fady with more of like an IG story post idea. I think the end is nay. What? The end is nay. Is that like a, is that a thing? I have no idea, but I do like the idea of the typography and like the way it's kind of laid out. And it definitely feels like something they would tweet out or like not tweet out, but like IG story out while this is happening. So I can see it. This is very, very nice. Nico chose to have no kind of like character and design only kind of having the actual kind of capital building in there. with this really cool spotlights. It just kind of felt like you're invited to this environment. Come join us on our last days on earth, but it's actually pretty freaking solid. Roll cat kind of giving us another idea where Kale might be the villain in this sense is again, uh, again, but like, I love the, the atmospheric kind of like dullish kind of colors on this poster. It felt very different and original. And this is actually really freaking solid roll storms with this really cool. Again, I think the idea of these textures with these uh, 3d renders, when the textures are really raw and just kind of like broken up, it really speaks to the brief for me. And I think this is actually pretty freaking solid. I think the orange like end of the world, this world being there, I think the orange worked kind of well on this red and this tone here. However, I will say one of the people who kind of took the cake for me in this category for the environment is the end of the world sort of like, just look at the, the rawness, the distortion, kind of like the, the buildings kind of kind of on like a curvature. It almost feels like it's like collapsing on itself. And like in the world logo, by the way, it just feels so, so much so that what they would probably end up doing like down themselves. And I just think it was so brilliant. The little blue crystals, by the way, being this little celebratory element just felt dope. I don't know what else to say besides this is definitely gonna be my top six. So these next one, I pretty much just couldn't figure out a way to categorize them by just going through all these, but let's just go through some of these. We have cow designs with this sort of like, I, I, like it feels very organic and almost like image tracer-esque. Realistically, this can easily be a thing that can be repeated over and over again for a campaign. So very freaking solid. We had Meth here with like Sky feeling like she's about to fight off some boats. I don't know if I get so much end of the world vibes, I almost get more survival, which kind of can maybe convey the idea of like surviving the end of the world. Is that what you're going for? Oh, was, what is, is Tell me if it was, if it wasn't, don't tell me, but if it was, just tell me it was anyway. Lavin, again, using that one sort of idea with like that bottom kind of like silhouette with all the characters lined up on that ledge. I think the one thing that kind of put me off a little bit was the overall like top feeling a little bit too squeezed. I feel like there's not enough headroom going on there. It could very much so or less kind of feel like the idea of like these guys gonna be coming after you or defending you. I feel like there's a lot of digest in this, but overall, I think I like the idea of how you kind of conveyed it, all the information together. So very freaking solid. We had answer with like this video very just kind of like uh it just feels so dark and almost unsettling the color scheme of that like middle kind of like trophy i also really love the subtle kind of like crack in the word world for like the logo it just feels kind of right coda using more of like an unnatural kind of like tone like a reds and the orange is like the end of the world using green and maybe again vipers the villain of the scenario it just felt it just felt pretty accurate to what i would probably also want to convey or go for when i'm looking for this project but one thing i will say is that over like outline around the, the building it, it feels a little bit too kind of of like not it if this is the building these are the players right between that put like a nice black layer to kind of like really smooth it or break it apart it might feel pretty accurate to what you're going for so really solid still bonk had this really cool idea like this like it feels like almost like person or like human-esque I really don't know what that render is, but also kind of feels pretty dope. It feels uh, uh, metallic-y and like metal-y and it just, just sings really well to me. Then we had Like, which was in our top six last episode. This, like, look at this, the foreground, the cryptic symbol, the city itself there, like the, this, like, this statue on this stance of the world being pieced apart. This is so brilliant to me. One thing I will say is though, lowering the exposure on like Phoenix would have put this on the edge for me, but like the comet kind of like coming in as well, feel like this really big distortion to it. I love that that kind of same glow is in his eyes. It felt like very unique and cohesive. So honestly, very freaking solid. And the way you kind of laid your information out too, it just felt more like movie poster-esque and it feels really, really freaking nice. Now this one's here by Jaden, which was in the top two, by the way, in Design Royale. So congrats to that, you guys will see him soon again. But Jaden's concept also feels very just kind of like, I, I love the, the the almost like you're peeking into this idea and this universe with this really cool like cutout and the way you kind of 
conveyed the way you want to hold the actual information. I do think the raisin is a little bit just kind of like, just like this miscellaneous toy that's just there. But honestly, Jaden, very, very, very nice. We had another 16 by nine by Yesh. I overall want to say this. I love the idea of like using that like texture tape for like the word to house the word tournament. I do like the purple and the red just felt very on par as well. I do think that the overall grayish tones, if they're more darker and black, it would have helped kind of like really formit that kind of dark atmosphere, or maybe just even like using smoke. I'm not too sure, but honestly, very, very solid. However, one of my favorites have to be this one by Night Eye. The, 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 what? Literally what? This literally could be tweeted out by Valorant tomorrow and they're just, everyone's just like, what is happening? But like even the background, you can literally see that there's some kind of human face being there and like they're kind of like grabbing and holding this world. One thing I will say, the end of the world logo looks really, really good, but I think the world where like there's like two like spikes going either way and they're going up or down the same direction, it might have felt maybe feel better, but honestly, Definitely one of my favorites, and it may be a, a top six comp like competitor. We also had Slant to come back from the repeat. The whole thing feels almost completely out of the world of, of Valorant, which also kind of makes it feel even cooler in my opinion. Your asset choice, by the way, is so original and so dope. I can I can almost like, I can see your style just by looking at your stuff. So honestly, the Sage render, the everything you chose, like it just felt so right. One thing I will critique and say is that the, 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 the random like reflection on Sage wasn't really, I wasn't really feeling it. I don't really understand it, but honestly, a, a very lovely possible top six competitor as well. JX Tolo and Glass Gladians. I think the two things I want to say to you guys, I felt the way you guys handled your renders. I think the environment, the overall composition is super, super brilliant, but I will say, be careful with erasing your actual renders. I feel like you wanna, when you want to hide something, either, either cover it with intention of like smokes or a building or something like that. However, there are so many entries. So honestly, I'm just going to name some of these guys off because you all did really phenomenal. I just want to make sure you guys get your praise, get your scenes, and just know that I really do enjoy these concepts as well. So we had Aram, Cappy, Cards, Chris, Christian, Renz, Epileptic, Ginge, K, Tracy, Hartman, Josh, Kaiser, Conrad, Sons, Nass, Neck, Nidoramon, Spearsy, and Taco. You guys all did phenomenal as well. I just want to make sure you guys all get seen and just like, just have some love. I see them all. I just want to let you guys know that, but let's see what my top six, what will, what will my top six be? So I think my top five will end up being Asper, Ben, Dmax. How, Night Eye, and Weasel. With Runner, I have to put a Runner up here. It's gonna be Jeremiah. I love the concept so much as well, but honestly, you were you were almost there, but I had to give it to me for Weasel, which had like a more idea of like the, the, the storytelling of it. If you guys agree with my top six, let me know that much. But also, I think YouTube has polls. And if they don't, I'll put a card up right now where you guys can vote for it, or we'll just do like a, I'll just put it in the description, but I think I'll have a card here for sure. However, the person who's gonna end up winning this Brave Force episode for me personally, you guys will have a different answer, maybe possibly, I don't know, but my winner has to be, hey, Adobe, what do you think? <laughs> I think it has to be Asper. I think Asper's concept with like the, the overall environment and render, we just cannot ignore it. And the material choice is so perfect. Uh, second place for me is gonna be D-Max and third place is gonna be Night Eye for me. I think I'm, I'm comfortable with that kind of like top three. Eh, one second. Okay, so really quick, I totally forgot about Aspect's literal trailer in the beginning of this episode because at this point in time, I'm two hours in. So if I'm honest, that trailer was absolutely in its league of its own and most likely would put it into a second place option. I still believe first place deserves first place, but all the other kind of entries kind of move one place below. But in the end of the day, you guys all win. So I just want to point that out there. You guys did amazing. So with that being said, don't forget to check out Brief Force. I'll always put out a new brief every now and again on Twitter. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter at SysMHQ. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. You guys killed this, but I'll let you guys go. Hope you guys had a good time watching, get some inspiration, all that good stuff. SysMHQ out. Out. We're gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and did I just skip words? So I'm gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking product guys later. Much love, peace, and uh, yeah, enjoy your day. You guys honestly killed it, and congrats, Asprey. Freaking phenomenal.